Hampton Roads first freestanding hospice house opened this morning in Virginia Beach after 10 years of planning. Westminster Canterbury and Beth Shalom Village will manage the house with the goal of bringing dignity and care to those with terminal illnesses. I was there as the governor helped cut the ribbon. With a snip of the scissors. One, two, three. Yeah. The Desorts House opens up to fill a community need. And my heart is just overflowing with emotions today. The Hospice House will provide compassionate care to patients at the end of their life. It was the dream of Dr. Ronald Desorts, whose family the house is named for. My dad always had the most caring nature. He was always so passionate and compassionate with people in need. And he knew years ago what a recent report from Old Dominion University told us. The community needs this. We over, have over 1.8 million people just on the south side of Hampton Roads. And uh, this is the only hospice house that they can come to uh, to meet their needs. The ODU report estimated that Hampton Roads needs 45 inpatient hospice beds per day, with the need growing as our population ages. We're going to start off with 12. So we hope that other cities will follow suit and open their own hospice house. The city of Virginia Beach donated the land. The community has raised nearly $8.7 million of the $10.9 million needed to build it. It's a community that wraps its arms around those who are in this final season of life. It's a community that can in fact be judged by how it treats those in need. Private rooms provide serene views from patient beds and separate rooms for loved ones to stay when time is short. Maybe temporary, but it is home. A place where people of all religions and walks of life can find comfort and care and make the best of the time they have left. And it is that moment where in my faith, the Lord does come and he says, welcome home. The Desorts House will begin taking in patients next month. Medicare and Medicaid do cover hospice care, but continued donations will be necessary to keep the nonprofit house open and available to all who need it.